This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey guys and welcome to All About Linux. Today, I will be testing and comparing the CPU, GPU and RAM performance of two distros, the ArcBase Manjaro 20.2.1 and Endeavor OS 2020.02. My test PC is sporting an AMD Ryzen 5 2400G CPU an AMD Radeon RX 590 with 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM and 16GB of DDR4 2666MHz RAM and I will be running the GNOME desktop for both distros. Let's get into this test. Starting with a game of War Thunder, for Manjaro 20.2.1, the average frame rate was 69.7 FPS, 1% lows were at 44.6 FPS, and 0.1% lows at 28.5 fps. The graphics settings were set to 1080p and a high preset. While on Endeavor OS 2020.02, it performed significantly worse with an average frame rate of just 45.7 fps, 1% lows at 29.8 fps, and 0.1% lows at 18.3 fps. I even repeated the test multiple times but got similar results. Also, the GPU was constantly maxed out at 100% and there were also strange graphical glitches in the loading screens. This will make Manjaro 20.2.1 a definite winner for this round. Next, I played a round of Arms Race for each distro in CSGO. The graphics settings were set to 1440p auto. On Manjaro, I got an average frame rate of 64.5 fps. 1% lows of 30.1 FPS and 0.1% lows of 22.9 FPS. On Endeavor OS, there were a number of frame drops but nothing too severe and the average frame rate was slightly lower at 62.2 FPS, 1% lows of 25.5 FPS and 0.1% lows of 17.1 FPS. Overall, I think Manjaro wins this round yet again. In an online round of Trapmania Nations Forever, a Windows-only game on Manjaro, the average frame rate was at 94.9 FPS, 1% lows at 60.2 FPS, and 0.1% lows at 47.0 FPS. However, on Endeavor OS, I got way higher frame rates with an average frame rate of 132.5 FPS, 1% lows of 94.1 FPS, and 0.1% lows of 60.5 FPS. The tables have turned, and Devil OS is definitely the winner for this round. By the way, if you like this video, do consider hitting that subscribe and like button. Next, I did some tests to find out about the RAM usage for each distro. When idle, both distros had exactly the same RAM usage of 2.4GB. Opening the homepage of Firefox for Manjaro and GNOME Web for Endeavor OS, Endeavor OS had a lower RAM usage increase than Manjaro with a 0.1GB and 0.3GB increase respectively. However, this can be attributed to the GNOME Web's homepage just being a blank page for Endeavor OS and the Firefox browser's homepage being the Manjaro website for Manjaro. Playing one of my previous videos, Endeavor OS yet again beats Manjaro with just 0.1GB lower RAM usage, with 2.8GB and 2.9GB total RAM usage respectively. Do note that all these RAM usages include that of the screen recorder, simple screen recorder. Overall, I think Endeavor OS wins this round. Lastly, I ran a Geekbench 5 test to test the CPU performance for each of the distros. Both distros performed pretty evenly, with Manjaro taking the slight lead for the single core test and Endeavor OS taking the lead for the multi core test. So, in conclusion, I think this test was a tie. Manjaro 20.2.1 won the War Thunder and CSGO test, and Endeavor OS won the Trackmania and RAM usage test, and both these shows were tied in the Geekbench 5 test. Now, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN protects your privacy and security online, and blocks geo-restricted content like certain Netflix libraries, it features that it's ultra fast 3200 plus servers in 65 countries, industry leading encryption, ad blocker, and many others. It works on an unlimited number of devices, from Android and iOS to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, to Chrome and Firefox extensions. Best of all, 
you can get Surfshark VPN today for the first three months free, then 81% off for just $2.49 per month. Do head over to Surfshark.deal slash all bot liners and get Surfshark today. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Do let me know if you have any suggestions for things or games to test in future videos. And I also hope you like the new edition of the Trackmania Nations Forever game. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.